Meow, meow. It's September 20th today in history. Ferdinand Johann Franz Blumentritt died in light merits in the Czech Republic in 1913 at the age of 60. Blumentritt was born in Prague in 1853 to Ferdinand Blumentritt and Amalia Schneider. So what does this foreigner who has never been here have to do with the Philippines? Blumentritt was a teacher a student of Tagalog, and a scholar who wrote extensively about the Philippines. Since the 1880s, he corresponded with a Filipino student and writer, Jose Rizal. In the book, The Life and Works of Ferdinand Blumentritt, published in Manila in 1914, Blumentritt shared that according to family lore, his paternal great-grandmother was a descendant of a governor general of the Philippines, Andres de Alcazar, who served in the 1610s. This started his fascination for the Spanish colonial world. Back to Rizal. The first and only time they met was when Jose Rizal and Maximo Viola toured Europe in 1887. Rizal helped Blumentritt translate manuscripts and taught him about the Filipino people beyond language, ethnographies, and maps. Blumentritt became one of Rizal's closest confidants, albeit through letters. He translated Dolly Metangere into German and wrote the preface to Rizal's second book, El Filipusterismo. The two exchanged gifts, books, and reference materials. They corresponded frequently when Rizal was exiled to the Pitan. The last letter Rizal wrote from Fort Santiago before his execution was to Blumentritt. Rizal found in Ferdinand Blumentritt a friend and a mentor. This friendship was appreciated by the Filipino people and honored Blumentritt by naming roads after him, even if he was relatively unknown in his own country. Mabuhay ang mga loyal na BFF. O, di ba?